What's up, weirdo? Shade Tree Surgeon here with the continuing saga of Joshua's box. But we're not just talking boxes today. Hey, I promise we are actually going to work on motorcycles today. Specifically, we're going to work on choppers today. Today's mission is to get the gas tank permanently mounted on the XS650 chopper. If you guys remember, uh, I had a few problems in so much as I'm a moron and I had way too many Modellos and I drilled this hole all wonky. So I have to take this up to Dylan's shop and we're gonna make, we're gonna slot it. He's got the proper tools to do it up there. This one is actually fine, but I want this to be slotted too. That way I know I can just adjust the tank a little bit to make sure it's perfectly straight on the motorcycle. And of course we're gonna have to drill the holes in the backbone of the frame and weld in the bungs so we can mount the tank, which is gonna necessitate using my welder, which I now store in my box. And that brings us back to the box. Since I got a few hours before I'm taking the tank up to Dylan's shop, I got time to work on my box and it's nice to have all this stuff stored in here, but uh, I'd like to have some doors on it too. And a lot of people said that I should probably put a shelf in it. So a shelf and doors, that's what's happening today. Then it's time to work on choppers. Well, my box is 28 and three quarters inches wide for the inside. You know, when you build stuff yourself, you get non-standard sizes, so. <laughs> Let's see if I can make a shelf. Well, it looks like we're fitting in there pretty good, so let's go ahead and make some supports. All right, I have no idea if I'm doing this right, but basically what I did is I cut a scrap piece of wood to 22 inches, which is how high I want the supports for my shelf to be. Uh, that way I can just stick this on the bottom, stick this on top, and I've already started the screws in here, and hopefully that'll make both sides of the supports the right height. I don't know, we're about to find out. If somebody's a carpenter, there's probably, you could probably tell me a better way to do this, but I'm not, so I'm kind of just making it up as I go along. Ta-da! Well then, that certainly looks like a shelf to me. My box has a shelf. It's uh, supported here on the sides as well, supported underneath. So not only do I have a little more storage space in here now, and it's more than it looks because of that overhang. So I actually have more space in there than you think. So I've got the storage space and also a lot of people told me that if I'm going to be hammering and wrenching and using this thing for what it's meant for, I should have some stability on the inside anyway. So now my box is much more stable. So next step, let's throw some doors on it. All right, now that I have two reasonably similar, <laughs> reasonably similar pieces of wood, let's see if uh, I can't mount them up and have some doors. Moment of truth. That looks like a door to me, Bubba. Uh oh, a little clearance issue here. <laughs> it works, it works, it works. Let's do it on the other side now. So, yeah, uh, there's that. <laughs> I mean, at least the doors work. Uh, you know, they just, they're just a slight, slight, slight gap for, for clearance there. Now let's see if we can do something about it. I have a solution. It's not a good one, but you know, this door, it's like a, it's like a trim piece. So, you know, this was on purpose because I wanted the clearance and now I just add in this beautifying trim piece right here and uh, it all makes sense, right? Right? Right. Well, there, I fixed it. And when I say I fixed it, uh, basically I fixed it like a cat covering up its turd in the lawn. Let's see if I can mount some handles with a little less drama. There's one handle. Uh, the idea of actually getting the other handle on and having it be even seems so unlikely that it's laughable. But I'm gonna try. Oh, moment of truth. Do they look even close to each other? Oh, my lord. That actually looks um, kind of even. I mean, probably not exactly, but 
As far as the rest of the project goes, I'm going to call that one a win. Well, it's almost time to go take that gas tank up to Dylan so we can get the holes, the proper slots drilled in it with his uh, with his air tools up there. But before I go up there, I'm going to sand my box and put a coat of stain on it because you know what? You can polish a turd. That makes a noise like it's going to do something. <laughs> All right, back in the garage. Dylan is here uh, coming to work on motorcycles after working on motorcycles. It's good to have good friends because they do things that suck for you sometimes. But now it's time to do very scary things and drill very large holes that <laughs> cannot be fixed into the back of this motorcycle. So let's ruin some bikes. Well, that's where it's gonna sit, hopefully. Basically, we, we're just gonna make our hole, drill it, and uh, that, I mean, that's it. They don't, we're gonna try to make them as exact as possible, sure. but they don't have to be exact because we left ourselves a little bit of wiggle room on the on those holes that's why i took them up to have dylan wall them out whenever you're trying to get something straight at least for me i'm a big second guesser so like i just i feel like once you if you're trying to get something straight you 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 can't it's literally impossible but let's try i'm just the opposite i just go doop doop I it's fine it. let's do it <laughs> i guess it's a good way to figure out if it's straight or not is just sit on it so let's uh let's mark it I'm saying there's probably some old school chopper way, like fucking 70s dude knows how to figure this shit out. That he'd be like, well, all you gotta do is take a piece of string and fucking hang it off the ceiling and, you know, put a little bit of snot on the end of it and some crazy shit like that. But I'm sure you guys will tell us in the comments after we do it this way. Dude, did you see the dust come off of it when you did that? <laughs> okay, let's fucking drill it. Oh, that's why I caught it yeah. as we were through it. Were... There's a hole in that motherfucker right there, dude. Check that shit out. Looks pretty fucking straight, too. Looks like, straight. Yeah, like, no, it does. Look at this. Honestly, dude. Look like, up. I'm looking at it right through these, like, freaking these gunner sights back here, and it looks dead on. All right, got the other hole drilled. My memory card filled up, so you guys didn't get to see that one. But look, there she is. There she goes. She looks good. Jess showed up to pick up her bike, which broke down during the live stream last night. She couldn't go home. Curly cues, man. Oh, yeah. Got it, though. Got it, though. Boom. We're, we're getting closer, man. Jess remains skeptical. I saw him just like, we're, we're like it stepping out. it up bit by bit. Look at the one that we've got to put in there. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Look at that hole. That's ridiculous. So you're just like, we're breaking this. <laughs> this isn't good for the bike. What are we doing? Oh, that yeah. we ain't even there yet. Where is the, where is the... <laughs> like, this is ridiculous, man. We're breaking the motorcycle. It feels like we're doing serious damage to this bike right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here is the final size. Here goes nothing. Jeez, oh, come on now. <laughs> Put it on your like, you know, the hole in the fucking... These were good looking holes before. <laughs> They're fucked dude, now, once dude. It, once it bites and goes all the way through, it'll clear all that shit out. Yeah. It's fine. Break all the way. Oh, there you go. Oh. All right, man. Oh, you're up, dude. That. Fucking drill the top oh, one, man. Yeah. Don't make it look too easy, dude. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Watch me do the other one. So.
Do we really need to even weld it now? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the sparks are spraying towards you. <laughs> if it hooks up, it goes right at you. Yes, 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 yes. Dude. So, we've got some holes drilled. We've got some bungs in there. Uh, it's This is starting to look legit, man. I mean, I don't know. They're relatively clean. Yeah, this is... Uh, this is looking pretty good, so I thought we were gonna fuck this up really bad, but now we've got the welder out. So now the Forney Easy Weld, and by the way, they said they didn't like me calling it an easy bake oven of welders, but um, so I'm sorry about that. This is most assuredly not the easy bake oven of welders. Um, so we've got the Forney Easy Weld out, and now we're gonna make this permanent. Although with a grinder, nothing's permanent. The color is an accent. It's nothing to do with the actual internals of the welder. Yeah. <laughs> we're playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and we're getting our buddy Kevin Sideshow Bob on Instagram, who is a welder for a living on the line, to s give us some, some text message advice. So I'm freaking out a little bit, but do basically... Wanna, do you want to take a five minute re-weld something real quick? And have a re no, man, I got, th I got this, dude. Of it no, so no, we're no, fucking... No. I got this, man. We're... I'm going in, I'm going in hot, man. <laughs> I'm freaking out a little bit because I'm just like, man, this is like a permanent weld, but basically anything that's welded can be undone with a grinder. So well, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll into it. All right, we're gonna we're gonna heat it up and just in case, you're in charge of this, by the way. Jess, you're in charge of fire fire safety. Alright? I got it. If things start looking like they're going very badly, just spray everything with the hose. <laughs> This is ugly, man. Oh, Dude. God. It's it's okay. That's all right. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just has to hold. <laughs> Those look so terrible. That looks pretty bad, dude. You don't have to laugh so hard, <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> look at it really close, Jess. Look at no, this. don't look at it too close. <laughs> It's just like burn marks. <laughs> you can clean it up. Yeah, yeah go pull those suckers off there. They're not welded to it. <laughs> First attempt at actually welding on the motorcycle. So it's ugly, there's a lot of spatter, but that's okay because it looks like it's gonna hold. So let me do the back side of it. We're gonna call it not an ideal weld. Hey, you know what you, you know what they say? If you can't tie a knot, tie a lot. God, that's so ugly. <laughs> Is the back one more ugly than the front? Oh, dude, it's just like hideous. It looks like it's one piece of metal, even though it's ugly though. Like, I feel like that's the test where you're just like, no, that's like joined. It's ugly. Not saying it's, not saying it's beautiful. She ain't gonna win any fucking prizes, but. It'll be covered by the tank. Yeah, it'll be covered by the tank. It's gonna hold. All right. It'll be covered by the tank. All right, Dylan. It sounds funny. You're up, dude. Who's, who's gonna paint it? Because they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Who's, who is painting the fucking thing? You're gonna have to give him a little heads well, you know, up. Not, it won't actually pop the top. There's only one way to find mm -hmm. out. I'm not standing there. Start that sucker up, dude. Never mind, it's not gonna work. I thought it would pop it right off. <laughs> Never mind, fail. All right, back to welding. There, look, <laughs> Too many modellos. <laughs> Looking at you saw after Josh ground it down. You didn't get yeah. to see his before product, so yeah. Let so me grind this is we're gonna grind it. So this is the before, 
Trust me, it looks ugly, but that's why <laughs> grinders exist. <laughs> ugly? Who says that looks ugly? That yeah. looks pretty good. So we've got two wells on here, one by me, one by Dylan. So now comes the real, the real test is like, let's set the tank on there and let's see what it fucking looks like. This is what we've been waiting for, is to be able to do that and look at it and say that it's glad we wallowed it out. <laughs> glad we slotted it. That's what we're. God, we were so proud of ourselves like Do you seconds know, ago. It is gonna actually. Uh, is it fine? Yeah, it is gonna actually work. Okay, so let's. What we're gonna do now is actually bolt the tank on. So we got it. The holes maybe aren't as uh, you know aligned as they could be, but that's all right because we walled them out as you saw earlier in the video for a fucking reason. Yeah, it's fucking straight up here. Oh, straight. look how much. Look how much oh, room. dude, we got so much room. If it wasn't that's good. If it wasn't straight, we could make it straight. Oh yeah, exactly. Tighten it down wherever the fuck it's straight. It's cool. What do you got? Let's ask the, the internet. tire is a little. Yeah. Not Let's ask straight. the internet what they think. Does this look straight? Does that look straight to you? You tell me. If it doesn't, we can go here or here. We can move it a little bit. Dude, it's on there. The tank is on the bike. Oh my god, this is fucking monumental. The tank. No, this is huge. The tank is on the fucking bike. Dude, and it's, him, and it's not right held here. on by duct tape, dude. If anything, maybe just a hair to the right. Because I think the bars are... I think the wheel's pretty... Uh, I think the wheel's a little... Oh, no, the wheel is a little crooked. But even then, like, it's on there. Like, oh, whatever man. it is, we have enough room to get it straight. Yeah, you just gotta move it a little bit tight. All you guys who are freaking out about my duct tape tank... <laughs> it still has the duct tape residue on there, by the way. Um, but this looks like a real motorcycle now. This has a tank on it. Against all odds, it's actually straight. Or at least as straight as, as we think it's straight. That looks straight to me. What do you think? Um, Modelo straight. <laughs> yeah, it's Modelo straight. I think this looks like a real motorcycle, so there's only one thing to do now. Let's fucking fire it up! Oh my god, who is that? <laughs> Single short girls here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got some vintage Yamalube in this motherfucker. We got a tank on it that's actually welded on. Let's see how many licks it takes to get to the center of a Tinsy Pot. Vintage gas, too. Isn't this, this, is a, this is supposed to be in a certain way to start it? Yeah. 